viewers welcome back to garden diary today i am making this video to show you on how to grow hollyhock plants from seeds at your home i am going to show from beginning till reporting stage with full update and informations so please stay on this video from the beginning till the end come let's get into a video to see what are the stages that we need to follow Here is a pack which I bought from Nursery Life. It's a mixed seeds of hollyhock. And this is a seedling mix. I'll mention the link in the description which I have already posted on how to make seedling mix at your home itself. It's a three materials. It's a mixture of three materials. One part of vermiculite, one part of cocoa peat and one part of perlite. You have to mix all these three materials in an equal proportion. and this seedling mix has given a successful germination rate for me and this is a seed of hollyhock you can see here itself it will be like this only so these seeds uh, in a separate place don't sow on top of it just uh, place it in a separate place Make sure that two seeds should not get sit into all uh, together. Then finally, fill uh, some layer of mixture. The same mixture I'm putting this. Make a thin layer. Don't put lot of mixture on top of it because the sprout will not happen. if you putting lot of mixture on top of it so make it a thin layer and to water please water from the bottom place this pot in a plate and pour water in the plate so this pot will take enough water from the bottom so that the seed will not get disturbed and next step you have to cover it i'm using this kitchen wrap because uh, if you are covering this pot then inside that pot uh, the temperature will get high and due to that the seed will get sprout soon here the my here my climate is so cold so whatever the seeds i am trying to germinate mostly i'll cover with this kitchen rack only so that my seeds will get sprout soon and to me this mixture gives a lot of successful germination whichever the seeds i will try with the seedling mix only so you also can try the seedling mix so it's done you have to place this in a shaded area don't uh, place in the a uh, place where the sunlight get falls directly and this is after 8 days you can see some of the plants got sprouted i mean sorry some of the seeds got sprouted out you can see here two leaves has formed but there is no any for true leaves and you can see here it is just started to sprout there is no leaves so this is an update after 8 days
and still I'm going to cover this with that wrap as we have some seeds that needs to get sprout so let's give a try for one week so I'm going to cover this once you, you see the true leaves you can uh, remove that cover and this is an update after 15 days you can see here you can see uh, some plant has true leaves it has given one true leaves and this is an update of uh, 25 days later and you can see uh, the plant has grown and the size of the plant has grown to one inch to report from small to big pot you have to take one part of normal soil and half part of cocoa peat and this is a perlite you can get from online and this is a uh, neem powder as it will work as a slow release fertilizer so we are going to mix these materials you can use any kind of compost instead of neem powder but here i am using neem powder as it is working as a slow release fertilizer so the plant will get nutrients till that plant is staying in that corresponding pot and this fertilizer will stimulate the plant to grow well and it will stimulate to bloom a lot of flowers that is why i am using this neem powder but you have to use little amount of neem powder as it is uh, uh, producing lot of heat so you have to use little amount and here the perlite is giving a, a benefit for the air circulations to the roots that is why i'm using perlite and i'm using cocoa peat to retain the moisture and here i have used all the materials and kept in a pot and this is after 35 days you can see here itself that the water will get drained faster so this is how the medium should be the water get drained fastly so this is the right medium for the seedlings this is an update of 35 days later so i can show you the roots you can see the roots here the root has formed fine so this is the right time to repot from seedling pot into a big pot this plant like direct sunlight so keep this pot in the place where the sun gate falls directly and water frequently whenever it needs
that's it friends for today's video please like and share this video to your friends as well and if you have any questions related to this please put that in a comment box i'll reply to that immediately thanks for watching hit thumbs up button to like this video and if you want to follow us to get more tips and ideas for your gardening hit subscribe button and please tap the bell to get notifications for each video whenever i upload happy gardening bye